This will be for the con assignment effects of shifting, adding, and removing a data point. So the first thing I want to mention is that outliers will pull the mean in the direction of itself, whereas it does not affect the median as much. So we see our two, um, we see our two distributions here. And the one that is left skewed has the mean to the left of the median, okay? And the distribution that is right skewed has the mean to the right of the median. So whatever direction the outliers or the tail is headed, that is typically the direction that it pulls the mean toward. Just to give you a simple uh, numerical example, let's say you had numbers, the data would be one, two, and three. Okay, so right here, the median equals two. And the mean would equal three plus two is five, plus one is six, divided by three. The mean would also be two. Now, let's say I have an outlier, all right? Let's say I replace the three with an outlier, and we have numbers of one, two, and 96, okay? Now, the median is the number right in the middle. So the median is still two. However, the mean is going to be 96 plus 2 plus 1, that's 99, divided by 3, which equals 33. So as you can see, this outlier here pulled the mean in that direction. It made it much larger. Okay, so an art collector had six paintings and then bought a new painting for $100,000. All right, so we have our dot plot in thousands of dollars. This must be the new painting right here because that's $100,000. The value of the original six paintings and the new painting are shown in the following dot plot. So here are the original six, and this is the new one. Okay, how will buying the new painting affect the mean and the median? And they all say uh, about the mean and the median increasing or decreasing. So like we said in the notes, the outlier affects the mean much more. Okay, so the mean... The mean will increase more. Okay, let's see if the median will increase, all right? So before, we, before they purchased the new painting, let's see what the median was. Again, we cancel. Okay, and the median is right here between these two dots. Okay, notice I canceled two on the lower end and two on the higher end. And the median is going to be right in between these two dots, okay? Now, once we buy painting number seven, let's see what happens to the median, okay? Cancel, 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 cancel. And now this is the median right here. So before we bought this painting, the median was in between these two dots, okay? So the median went up a tiny bit. It just went from here to here, okay? It increased a tiny bit, but the mean increased more because of the outlier. So they both went up, but the mean increased more. And that is answer A. Both of, oh no, not decrease. Both of them, both of them will increase, 
but the mean will increase by more. There you go. Okay, a group of four friends likes to bowl together. Each friend keeps track of his all-time high score in a single game. Their high scores are all between 180 and 220, except for Adam, whose high score is 250. Adam then bowls a great game and has a new high score of 290. How will increasing Adam's high score affect the mean and median? Okay. So, all of the high scores were in between 180 and 220, except for Adam, who was 250. Okay, and this is a group of four friends. So three of them were between 180 and 220, let's say like so. And Adam's high score was 250. All right. And then Adam bowls a new game and he gets a high score of 290. So we cross out Adam's high score of 250 and we make it go all the way up to 290. Okay. So the mean definitely got pulled in this direction. Okay, so the mean increased. It went to the right. But as far as the median is concerned, we still have four points, okay? So the median is gonna be in between two and two. The median is gonna be right there, okay? In between these two and these two. So no matter what you do with this dot, with this outlier, the median's still going to be right in here, okay? If I cross this out and, and made it even greater, the median is still right there. So the median did not change, but the mean increased. All right. The mean will increase and the median will stay the same. That's answer C. Okay, a small accounting firm has four accountants who earn a different salary between 50 and 60. For extra help, they hire a fifth accountant who earns 10,000. How will hiring the fifth affect the mean and the median? All right, so we had four accountants at first between 50 and 60. Okay, so we'll put them like so. And then they hire a fifth accountant who makes 10 grand. I mean, a hundred, oh no, yeah, 10 grand. So that one makes much less, much less. Here are the four accountants that make 50 to 60, but they hire a fifth that makes 10 grand. So he or she is making much less, all right? So the mean is getting pulled in that direction. It's being decreased, okay? so. It's always, the outlier is always going to change the mean more. Let's see how it changes the median, okay? The median at first, we had these four dots here. The median was right in between these four dots, okay? But once they hired the fifth accountant, the median changed to the dot that's directly in between these five. So it would be like... Um, this one right here, okay? You got two on the right, and then you have two on the left. This one would be in the middle, okay? So the median also decreased, but the mean decreased a lot more, all right? So they both went down. Both the mean and median will decrease, but the mean will decrease by more. Okay, most of the time it helps to draw this out Okay, last one, Liam works at a zoo. He was looking at data showing the mass of five elephants. The mean was 3,800 kilograms and the median was 36. The heaviest elephant was recorded as 6,000. Liam then found out Omar mass was written down correctly and he actually weighed 7,000. Okay, so let's see. We had five elephants and the mean and the median were about the same. The heaviest was six, okay? So we had five elephants and the heaviest was six. All right, let's see.
Okay, we had five elephants. Let's say this was the heaviest here. Okay, out of these five, that's the median right there. All right, and now if they found out the one elephant was written down correct, incorrectly, and the mass was actually seven instead of six. So pretend this was six right here, let's cross it out and move it to seven, okay? So what happens to the mean? It shifts in that direction. The mean goes in that direction, but the median is still right here, okay? Because it's in between the five dots. So the median doesn't change, the mean increases. There you go, the mean will increase and the median stays the same. So in summation, if you shift or replace a point, the mean changes in the direction of the new point, but the median does not change. And if you add a new point, both the mean and the median change in the direction of the new point, but the mean changes more.